Hello, in this video we are going to see an abstract method and abstract class. We will see what is mean by an abstract method and what do you mean by abstract class. In our earlier video we have seen virtual method and we have seen virtual keyword. A virtual method is nothing but it is a method which is declared with the keyword virtual and it is up to the derived class whether to override it or not to override it. That means it is the wish of derived class to override a virtual method. If derived class wants to override a virtual method, they can override it. If the derived class does not want to override a virtual method, then there is no problem. It is up to the derived class whether to override a virtual method or not to override a virtual method. Now here we are going to see an abstract method. Abstract method is nothing but it is a method which is declared with the keyword abstract. Now let us create a class, say class A. Say in this I have a method public void show. Now if you observe I am not at all writing the body of the method. I do not have the body of the method. That means I am not implementing the method. Just I am declaring the method. So this is called as the prototype of a method. Public. Now I will declare it as abstract. Public abstract void show. So what is abstract method? Abstract method is a method which is declared with the keyword abstract and it does not have any implementation or it does not have the body. Now I can have a class in which I can have one abstract method and one non abstract method just I will display a method in this I will display a message this is display method. Now let me create the object of this class. Now I will execute. Let us see what is that it says. Console dot read line. I will just execute this. Now it throws an error. What is that? Let us read out. Show is abstract, but it is contained in non abstract class A. Show method is abstract, but it is contained in non abstract class A. Class A is non abstract, whereas method is abstract. What does this mean? It means that whenever I have an abstract method in a class, then the class becomes abstract. So I will say abstract class A. Now let me execute. Now I got another error. Cannot create an instance of the abstract class. Now there is no problem with this. Now this is my abstract class with an abstract method. Now what is that it says? I cannot create the object. Let us read out the error cannot create an instance of the abstract class. Instance in the sense I cannot create the object of the abstract class. I will just execute this. It says no, I cannot create the object. But I can create the reference. A is the reference. I am creating the reference. As we have seen in our earlier video, I can create the reference of an abstract class. Now let me execute. Now there is no error. But you should get a doubt. When I cannot create the object, then what is the use? How can I call display method and what is the use of defining all these things? So definitely we will see in our future videos the implementation, real time implementation of our abstract method and abstract class. So as of now, we are trying to understand what is abstract method, what is abstract class. So abstract method is nothing but it is a method which is declared with the keyword abstract 
and it does not have body so abstract method has only declaration that is prototype and if a class contains at least one abstract method then the class becomes abstract the first point is abstract method is a method which is declared with the keyword abstract and the second point is abstract method does not have the body and the third point is if a class contains at least one abstract method then the class becomes abstract and the fourth point i cannot create the object of the abstract class just now we have seen and the fifth point i can create only the reference of abstract class now we will see one more sixth point that is so for example i have a class one more class b i am inheriting class a into it now just i am going for inheritance and say here i have uh, you know one more method say public void view so i'll write console dot write line this is view method now can i create the object of class b definitely i can create the object of class b b b equals to new class b now what are the methods that i can call from class b i can call view i can also call display why because it is public and because i am inheriting this method will get inherited into this class now let us see what are the methods that i can call using b b dot i can call display i can say b dot view if you observe i can also call b dot show why because show is also public but what is the implementation of show there is no implementation of show here i haven't implemented show but let me execute and see what it says there is an error let us read out the error b does not implement the inherited abstract member a it means that if i am inheriting a class a which is abstract then it is must for me to override the abstract method or to implement the abstract method now this is the sixth point we saw five points abstract method is a method which is declared with the keyword abstract and second point it does not have any body third point if a class contain abstract method then the class becomes abstract fourth point i cannot create the object of abstract class and the fifth point is i can create the reference of abstract class the sixth point is that if i am inheriting an abstract class then it is must for me to override the abstract all the abstract members of abstract class so my class b is inheriting class a then i should implement this method how do i implement the method public override it shows in the intellisense i need to override the show method console dot write line this is show method now let me execute so this is perfectly all right it says that this is display method this is view method this is show method so here we have seen abstract method now if we compare abstract method with virtual method in virtual method it was up to the derived class whether to override it or not to override it in abstract method it is simply opposite it becomes must for derived class to override the abstract method now it is not in the hands of derived class or it is not the wish of derived class to override or not to override but it becomes compulsory for the derived class to override all the abstract members of the base class if the base class is abstract so this is the basic concept of abstract method and abstract class we will see how can we use abstract method and abstract class and method overriding to implement runtime polymorphism in our coming video
थैंक यू